Founded by a group of Dartmouth College students in 1999, the DREAM program became an independent nonprofit organization in 2001. The program has since grown to work with 13 colleges and 18 affordable housing neighborhoods throughout Vermont and Massachusetts and is growing. I'm Eric Clemens for Comcast Newsmakers at Vermont College of Fine Arts in Montpelier. Dream Executive Director Michael Lohner is here to discuss the program. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Eric. All right, good you? to have you with us. The Dream program has an extraordinary story and history. Tell us a little bit more about that history of the program. Yeah, Dream started, um, like you said, at Dartmouth College. Um, our roots were with an AmeriCorps member who was working at uh, an affordable housing community um, in White River Junction. And she was charged with working with the families and the youth. Um, realizing that's a really big job, she had to brainstorm to go to Dartmouth College and see if there were a few students there who wanted to start um, basically coming to the community, hanging out with the children, and just playing games. Um, a few of those early students that she brought on really enjoyed what they were doing and said, let's make a mentoring program out of this. They started bringing the youth back to the college campus every single Friday and it just grew from there. Soon became one of the most popular programs on campus. Yeah, and you were talking a little bit about it. Explain a little bit more about the unique nature of the program, specifically with regard to the village mentoring. Yeah, village mentoring for us is um, it's something we've been working on over the past um, 10, 12 years where because our focus is on affordable housing neighborhoods, um, we recognize that these children have a, a few more challenges than just living in poverty. So village mentoring really supports the youth on three levels. First, there's that one-on-one -on -one relationship. Every child is matched with a college student volunteer, and then as long as that student is on campus, they're mentoring that child. And so it's a one-on-one -on -one relationship across the program. And then the second part is the culture of dream. So we have a very strong group aspect to village mentoring. So our pro programs start on Fridays. The mentors pick up the children, bring them back to wow. the college campus, and they really do a lot of group work with them as well. So we're building positive peer groups. And then we um, include the community as much as possible as well, bring the parents in, allow them to um, have say in the program, allow them to really help us recognize what the children need. And you were talking about community and your tremendous impact that you have and mm -hmm. influence you have on the community. How does it affect your funding? It Actually, our model is really helpful with our funding right. because, because we focus on affordable housing communities. Um, typically, we work with the housing management group or the nonprofit um, agency that owns or manages the community. And our services are valued by them and so therefore they're willing to help fund us. We also, our mentors stay with us um, for several years, and then when they graduate from college, they become part of our alumni organization. Right. And so we reach out to them as well, year over year over year, to help fund the program, right. as well as their parents. Of course, we all know it's vital to keep kids busy and active during mm -hmm. the summer months. Tell us a little bit about DREAM's summer programs. Yeah, and that's exactly it. For a lot of our youth, um, the housing communities they live in can be isolating. Um, both geographically um, and demographically. So recognizing when the students go home, we don't want the children to feel like they've lost dream. So we do on-site summer programs with community interns. We have a camp in Fletcher, Vermont, where we invite the youth to spend a week, typical summer activities, swimming, hiking, biking. Sure. And then we also provide some bigger trips for the older youth. We do a college adventure tour, and then we also do um, a sailing program in Maine. Do some great work, Mike. Thanks so much for being with thank us on the so program. Much. And thank you for watching this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Eric Clemens. See you next time.